Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So it is morning here in Venice, and what I've been doing <laughs> is I've been catching up with Dora 2022. So last night, I mean, what did I, how many tabs did I have open? I had obviously MGP, Norway, I had uh, blah, 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 Emma, Slovenia, I had Poland, I went to Malta. Um, I had every intention of doing Dora, um, but unfortunately I couldn't quite work out how to do it for HRT, which is the national broadcaster. You had to like log in and stuff and I'd already kind of all the shows had started by this point. <laughs> so I do know who won. Um, ultimately, because if you've seen any of my previous reaction videos, you know that I was emotionally invested, spiritually invested in one particular song. Um, and last night seemed to be the night where all of my favourites, boom, 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 out, they're out, they're out, they're out. Um, and then true to form, uh, my favourite Adora is out. Um, however, um, I haven't seen the score breakdown. Okay, so bearing in mind, HRT... Um, what was it? It was HRT Dora. HRT Dora has the whole show on YouTube. So this morning, um, I have uh, managed to catch up with all the songs, actually, uh, because I thought it would be best to actually have watched the song so I understand the context. Right, so yeah, Mia, uh, Guilty Pleasure, 91 points. And then obviously... My Mia, which I will say, watched obviously earlier, because I was like, oh, was it not vocally strong? Like, I don't think she could have done anything else. Like, her vocals were on point. And moreover, at the end, she cries. It's really emotional. Um, okay, so 81 points, so 10 points between it. Marco, do you know what? If I was giving out awards for Dora, that was the best staging. Like, it was the only one where they did try and do something quite creative. So in the middle of the song, there is this break and there's like kind of storm sounding and they managed to kind of incorporate some of that through the visuals on the stage. The lighting and just the general staging of Marco's elevated and amped that up massively. And moreover, on the stage, there is these backing vocals that run throughout that track that make it sound kind of quite traditional. On stage, they must have turned that up because it was so unbelievably effective. Like, I really wasn't rating Marco, but then when I kind of watched them all today and it came on third, and actually on reflection after seeing all the others, I'm just like, yeah, that did deserve the hype prior to it. Because I know obviously he's made a name for himself in Croatia, so he's got a huge fan base. But had that had won, if, if I'd seen last night that that won, I would have been like, ugh, another example of someone with a massive fan base, doesn't matter what their song is. But actually seeing that today, had that have won, I think that that would have been just as a worthy uh, winner, to be honest, based on what I could see. I'm not trying to cover my back now. I'm not trying to backtrack. But actually, I was sitting there objectively being like this is the, and actually now I've seen them all that was the best staging his vocals were on point and um yeah his that suit outfit really popular in Milan <laughs> that look that kind of baggy kind of casual suit look very in in Milan so he came third for 71 Bernarda, why did no one tell me that she was blind? Not like that obviously is an identifier for her. Like originally I was there being like, oh, I'm not a massive fan of sunglasses uh, because it really alienates the audience like Rafael from Poland, Poland last year. And then within the first 15, 20 seconds, I was like, well, hold on a minute, Shane. I'm getting a vibe that maybe she might be blind. And so then I Googled it and true to form, she is blind. Like, wow. Like that vocal is insane. Like, and moreover for an average song, even that, I would say last night, my biggest growers just happened to be the two songs that people were liking and I just really wasn't. And that was Marco and Bernarda. Like, that was insane. It was a really, really good performance. And she managed to alien elevate a song, which I actually generally think is kind of an average pop song. But when you watch it, um, with that live vocal, with the backing dancers, um, I enjoyed it. No War, 64 points. Yeah, I watched that today. I was kind of a little bit underwhelmed. Eric, I felt crazy. I mean, I watched that earlier and I thought that that was a lot better live. My boy Toma in the darkness, he couldn't have done anything more with that vocal. And moreover, live, he sounds just like Sam Smith as well, that tone to his voice. Um, so, yes, I quite like that. But then again, I did think, 
has someone screwed you over because your staging was a little bland if you compare it to Marco's. Hideout liked, uh, stay on the bright side, Zdenka doing her, her, uh, her raincoat diva performance. Um, and then, I mean, who was last? Lubav. I mean, she just sat there, didn't she? She didn't really do anything. Um, okay, Rocco, it was boring and bland. If you walk away, don't walk. Ella, 11th, that's quite surprising. Jessa, that was another one that elevated. I never thought that she would come out as kind of like a pop princess. Um, okay, so that was the jury. So, okay. And then the televote. So Mia kills in the televote. So Mia is going to Eurovision with the knowledge that uh, Croatians want her to go. Um, and then Marco, I mean, there's a huge gulf between those, 166 and 108. And then Mia, 60 points. It was interesting. If you watch that um, live video on YouTube and then you read the comments, which I did, I think there's a lot of kind of people in Croatia being like, she needs to sing in Croatian. Um, when you read the comments, I did notice a few people calling her out um, for the fact that the song is majority, majority, that's not even a word, is mostly in English. Bernarda 47, Eric, I found you. It's done well. Um, and then, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so combined results, Mia kills it, 257. Marco, understandably, with that vocal and that performance. And like I said, live, they did something with the production to elevate parts of the song in regards to the sound. It sounded much better live. 179. And my girl, Mia, 141. Bernarda, 111. And Eric, I found you. I found you. Do, 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 do. Okay, so look. I must profess, I actually haven't seen Mia's Guilty Pleasure yet. So what I can say from that is Bernarda, I thought was very good live, she came forth. Mia, I don't think she could have done anything more. That was my favourite song. It still is. I don't know, because actually I really like Tom is in the Darkness. No, it didn't overtake Mia. And then Marco, like I said, that was a performance. So I'm expecting great things from this. So yeah, let's check it out. Not any evidence of nerves at all. Timing's never been unfair. Leaving me with guilt, only souvenir can bring. I'm with him and you're a secret treasure. He's the boss and you're a guilty pleasure. I'm with him and this is real life, honey. Yes, the joke's no longer funny. This was my third favourite. It was my second for a while. I did like Tom as in the darkness. Would you run away? Would you run away with me? Would you run away? Would you run away? It is a good song. After so many shockers last night, personally, I'm actually quite glad a song has gone through that actually I quite like. <laughs> Someone said to me that Mia was going to sit there with a guitar and a guy was just going to dance around her. I'd be like, that sounds rubbish, but it actually is working, it's fine. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, it's still working. Run away, away with me. Run away. It's a really good melody. Does he need to go down there for that long? A bit distracting. Oh, he's got a bit of hide and seek going on now. So what's the storyline? He's like, I will. That like requires core. 
I was gonna have a brioche for breakfast earlier, but <laughs> watching that, I'm... that makes me feel guilty. I love this part of the song. I've said that time and time again in my reaction videos. It's a sweet song. I think that's the word, isn't it? Sweet. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ah. Ah. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on to Christian from Poland. Cool. That was um. That got intense. <laughs> um, look, I, am I disappointed it's one? No. Like, I do think um, Mia is the song that I connect with the most. I do think had Marco got selected, I think I, my initial assessment was slightly wrong. I think it would have been okay. Um, but I think this is a nice, sweet song. Um, no, I am happy. I am happy. It's, it's a nice song, it's a nice song. And actually, you know, my channel's testament to the fact that I've liked this song from the very beginning on the first listen, I liked it. And then obviously when I did my ranking, it was third, but I profess that it was second for, for a while. Um, yeah, her and Toma kept on changing. Um, well done, Croatia. Well, at the end of the day, it was unanimous, juries and televote. So yes, like this song, yeah. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. Please do leave a comment below. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.